China was pretty tight-lipped about a crash Monday at Tiananmen Square when an SUV veered into a crowd, crashed, and then went up in flames. Three occupants of the car, as well as two tourists, were killed. There were questions about whether the crash was deliberate, but until Wednesday, Chinese officials said nothing. Now, state-run Xinhua News Agency is quoting police describing the attack as a carefully planned, organized, and premeditated terror attack, which is significant considering the site of the crash. Tiananmen Square is, of course, the scene of a 1989 pro-democracy movement violently and infamously suppressed by the Chinese military, and where political protests and incidents of self-immolation have happened since. According to Xinhua, a man named Usman Hassan drove the jeep into the crowd with his mother and his wife also in the vehicle. Al Jazeera notes the names are typical of a Turkic Muslim Uyghur ethnic group, but also notes no one has claimed responsibility for the crash. And in fact, that group has released a statement expressing concern over suggestions of the group's involvement, fearing discrimination. Interestingly, the Wall Street Journal points out Chinese government censors seem to share those concerns. Chinese social media posts that could potentially incite ethnic tensions were quickly deleted. Police say they found gasoline, knives, and extremist religious content inside the Jeep and have detained five suspects who they say admitted to knowing Hassan planned to carry out the attack. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman.